Buhay everyone, March is here. Welcome to the channel. And today, we are going to compare these two, of course, the Zion Wands and the Freak 3. So let's find out which one is for you. Let's go. So these two are currently some of the latest basketball sneakers from the two brands. Of course, this is from Jordan Brand, the sister company of Nike, which on my right is the Freak 3 which just came out recently. Both sneakers are being carried by two powerful players that are fast, quick, and like I said, powerful. So let's compare them. Let's start off with the upper of the Freak 3. If you watch my performance review, and if you haven't watched it, I'll be putting the link up here and also the Zion ones. I'll put it around here. And for the Freak 3s, the upper features this fused net mesh-like material and don't get me wrong with the upper of the Freak 3, even though it is fused and it is mesh, it is still very soft. It's not the thick kind of mesh that crunches a lot, which you can feel a bit on the Zion ones because it has a thicker net, which was, if you have the Jordan 34s, it has the same material for the upper. It is net, it is fused. Both materials are very thin, but the main difference that I can see is the softness or the comfort that you'll be feeling between these two sneakers. Because on the Zions, I immediately felt the crunchiness around the forefoot, especially the first time that I used the Zions. But eventually, after playing with them more, it will become a lot softer. That's the difference between the Freak 3s, because right from the box, the Freak 3s was very comfortable around the forefoot part and you wouldn't mind the upper even though this is fused but in terms of durability Zion's upper will be a little bit more durable because that's a thicker net like mesh material but they have the same fusing around the forefoot area but on the Zion's it has more surface area for durability or toe drags compared to the Giannis which has a softer fusing and it covers a little just a little area around the forefoot so durability wise, I would lean a little bit more on the Zions compared to the Freak 3. But in terms of comfort, the upper of the comfort, especially in the toe area, is better on the Freak 3s. Now moving on to the mid part of these two sneakers. On the Freak 3s, it has a strap, but both have traditional lacing system. And the main difference that I felt here is of course the support. The swings on the Zions really helps out in the support laterally and medially and really pulls your foot down to the footbed. But on the Freak 3s, it ain't that bad either. You just have to tighten the laces up around the forefoot part. And this will pull the leatherette or the synthetic leather on both sides, pull your foot down to the footbed. But the wings on the Zions are far more superior compared to the Freak 3s. The Freak 3s are still very supportive but on the Zions, it's on a whole other level because there's something about the straps that really you can feel around your foot that will hug your foot and give you that peace of mind, especially around the forefoot part. And as for the tongue of the two sneakers, this is where it has a big difference. The Freak 3s has a very foamy padded tongue, which is very comfortable, especially around the ankle part which are the Zion ones, I just wish that they added a little bit more padding. Especially, uh, this is what has been happening with the new sneakers, especially the, I have just unboxed the GT Run. They have a similar tongue. They are padded in some areas, but I wish that they added extra padding around the ankle part, where your ankle moves because you really tighten the laces there. And you will really feel the laces because it has no padding around that part. So I just wish that they added a little bit more padding around there. It's just a little um, milligrams of weight if you added a little pad there. So I hope Jordan Brand, you're listening. I'm sure you're watching. So hopefully on the next on Design 2, you will improve that on Design 2s. Now let's move on to the heel part of the sneaker. Where you can see the Zions is a little bit higher. It's a mid-cut sneaker. It's really padded around the ankle part of the Zions compared to the Freak 3. But overall, I would say in terms of heel lockdown, 
I like the lockdown more on the freaks compared to the cyan because it has more of a curve going down to the heel this part the padding is all the way up here but there's not much below so it has a little bit of space there so in terms of support a little bit advantage on the freak threes but i would still say that the zions in terms of heel cup heel fit is still good but the freak threes is a lot better in my opinion i think one of the reasons why is because the cushion goes up on the lateral and middle part of the heel so you feel it touching your foot around the heel more compared to the zions which has a wider cut to the cushion if you get what i mean it's not going inside on both sides so that's a, a little thing that i noticed especially if you're doing head to head between these two sneakers but if you're just buying one sneaker you wouldn't feel it that much but for me i'm just giving you the detailed difference between the sneakers that i am reviewing so now let's move on to the cushion part of these two sneakers zion ones full length air struggle with a phylon carrier plus an extra zoom unit below the air struggle while on the freak trees it has a full length phylon similar to the zions but it has two zoom pods that are very thick so in terms of feel of bounciness i would choose the freak trees but in terms of impact protection the zions is there especially in the forefoot part bounciness you wouldn't feel the zoom unit that much on the zions although it's there you would feel a little bouncy but this is bouncier around the forefoot but in terms of impact protections that is where the zion is leading over the freak tree because from the forefoot to the heel you would feel the full length air struggle all throughout your foot and it's really comfortable if you're someone who likes impact protection more compared to bounce the zion is a good choice to have and i was kind of surprised when i tried them both the cushion setup or the filing material on the Zions is a lot thicker compared to the Freaks. So this is a little bit more high off the ground compared to the Freaks. So I was kind of surprised. I thought that the Freak will be a little bit higher because of the huge zoom unit from the forefoot. But I think that's what I mentioned in my other videos that there's no phylon on top of the zoom pods and below it. So your foot is direct contact with the insole strobo board then the zoom unit so it's not too high on the forefoot of the freaks which on the zions maybe i think because of the the air unit the zoom unit and there's an extra phylon below it so that made the zion a lot thicker compared or a lot higher off the ground compared to the freak tree but it's not too high off the ground compared to other sneakers but head to head the cushion on the zions is a lot thicker now let's move on to the tractions of this two sneaker the Zion has this wave-like pattern and some herringbone here on top and while the Freak has a spiral pattern and in terms of traction, rubber material, pliability, I like the Freak 3s a lot better compared to the Zions. The Zions, even though the rubber compound is hard, the grooves are not that deep. So I think that's where Jordan Bradge should have paid attention more. They made the grooves deeper because it will really help out in the grip of the traction. And this is a perfect example of a good traction setup. The rubber material is very pliable even though it's thin. So it really moves. So even on a dusty floor where we always play, we don't play on a pristine court like in the NBA. This really grips even on a dusty floor, even on a moist floor. And that's where the weakness of the traction of the Zions are. On a dusty floor, it picks up a lot of dust. But on a clean court, it grips nicely, but it can pick up dust quickly. So you need to rub it often if you're playing on a dusty floor, which you don't need to do on the Freak 3. Even if a lot of dust sticks on my Freak 3s, it was still gripping really hard on the floor even though it's dusty very dependable traction on the freak trees so another thing that i like to point out both tractions are decoupled so usually the coupled tractions are made for basketball players that likes to run up and down the court a lot and has a very powerful torque and both have very nice heel to toe transition and now let's move on to the width of the forefoot because these two sneakers have two 
of the most wide forefoot from Nike and Jordan brand. And I would say they're pretty much the same, but they're wide in just different areas. The Zion is wider around the midfoot part, while the Giannis or the Freak 3s is more around the forefoot part. But they're pretty much the same in terms of width. And even on the heel, yeah, same width on the heel on both sneakers. Now let's check the weight of these two sneakers. Freak 3, 409 grams. Zion's. 409 grams. So these two sneakers are very light and very, very responsive. They're very quick. And as for the price point, yeah, they have the same price. I just realized it now. They have the same price. So 6,800 for the Zions and the Freak, 6,800. But, but on the Zions, because it has been released earlier, some are on sale right now. Sales are going quick right now. They're very fast. You just need to wait for a month and the sneaker will go on sale. So if you're more on a budget and if you like a mid-cut sneaker and more impact protection, and of course the wings, the support you'll be getting on the forefoot designs for you. But if you want a sneaker with the most dependable, one of the most dependable traction and a very bouncy forefoot, good support in a low-cut sneaker, Freak 3, one of my favorites right now. So. Between these two, uh, I would choose the Freak 3 over the Science. So as for the sizing, true to size if you're a regular footer, wide footers go half a size up. And i just like to mention this, although the Zions, the Zions is bigger in terms of width or stockiness compared to Giannis, but the Zions once is a lot narrower around the forefoot compared to the new Freak 3, because on the Freak 2, it's a lot narrower. It's like the Zions, but right now it has more room around the midfoot, forefoot part of the sneaker. So if you are white for it, I think you will like the Freak 3s more. So that's it on my comparison between the Freak 3s and the Zion ones. Let me know which one you would choose and why. Hit me a comment down below. Thank you for dropping by again to this channel. I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.